tonight's index file question. Last week's stumper now had to do with this house, there it is, located somewhere in the Twin Cities. We added the hint that it's now a, a private residence, but it wasn't always so. In April of 1933, a group of prominent Americans met in this building, and the results of the meeting became big news across the country. And here was the hint, the owner of the structure was rumored to be active in St. Paul politics of that day. So the question was, what took place in this Twin Cities building in April of 1933? For some of you, the right answer came tripping off the tongue, but others of you found it hard to speak easy. In that house in 1933, I'm sure it was the founding of the Democratic Farm Farmers Labor Party led by Hubert Humphrey. The place you mentioned on Channel 2 this evening is duplicate of the Washington home. It's the Cedarhurst Mansion now. The answer to the question is that it was used in planning the Minnesota trucker strike. I was uh, only three years old at the time, but if I remember right, a group of businessmen and politicians met at that house and started the St. Paul Winter Carnival. No, I'm sorry, Anonymous, you cannot blame this one on the Vulcans. Uh, the right answer had to do with other masked men, however. Run with it, Richie from Roseville. In an era when St. Paul was known as a safe city for notorious criminals of the day, Jack Pfeiffer operated an eating and gambling establishment called the Hollyhocks on Mississippi Boulevard. It was a place where the wealthy of the Twin Cities gambled and mingled with members of the underworld. It well could have been a location for planning the June 15, 1933 kidnapping of St. Paul Brewer, William Hamm. I think you're reading it, Rich, but you're right on. The Hollyhocks, the place we were asking about, and the meeting in question was to plan the notorious Ham kidnapping of 1933. Now, who was in attendance here? It's a who's who of the 30s gangster scene. Ma Barker, Alvin Creepy Carpus, and members of the Al Capone gang. All right, well, last